Hey guys, um, I just uh, decided to add an amplifier, a four channel amplifier to my uh, aftermarket speakers just to make the sound more um, like high quality and more enjoyable. Um, this is a nice addition to my subwoofer in the back there. Um, <clears throat> but I ran into a problem. Um, I get all this like hissing static sound that when I, when my, uh, radio turns on when I start the car it's just it's just so annoying and uh, I'll show it to you right now you can listen um, when I put it right up against the speaker you can hear that sound and when I step on the gas it becomes more of a high-pitched sound So that's basically the problem. And so I decided to um, look around on YouTube and some other places and see um, just what, what kind of solutions there are. And I found a few that work pretty good. Uh, I've tried it before, uh, but it's a different case now because I'm not running the same wiring as before. Um, so basically most people suggest running um, well, first of all, most of those people run RCA cables from their head unit into the amplifier for the speakers. Um, so, like, hold on, let me get my flashlight. This is basically the deal. Um, they have RCA inputs on the amplifier, and they have the RCA outputs in their uh, head unit. So you run those wires from the head unit into the amplifier uh, for the RCAs, which is really easy. But sometimes you get the same static sound. Um, and what most of those videos suggest, or I think all of them that I watch suggest that you just um, take a wire, strip it, um, kind of run and round all the RCAs that you're using they have plugged in so uh, well it's really hard to do with one hand but you get the idea you just kind of run the wire around all the RCAs on one end and then you strip the other end and uh, you kind of go um, like wrap it around the screw like you unscrew the screw and then you wrap it around and then screw it back in and like imagine this is the back of the head unit you do that on the head unit on the on the radio itself and what it does it um, takes all those RCA's and just properly properly grounds them so they don't make the static sound but what if you don't have those RCA's that go from the head unit to the speakers um, what if you have the leads that are different you can't use this trick, uh, which is the case for me. There are five pairs of wires. Uh, two or one pair is the grounds, and the other four pairs are the four speakers that are in my car. And I hooked uh, the wire harness. Um, there's uh, wires that go in the wire harness for the speakers. I connected them to the amplifier using those, uh, I think those are high inputs or something they're called. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but <clears throat> I hooked those up and I get the static sound and it's just so annoying. And obviously none of those RCA uh, videos will work for me because I, I just simply don't have any RCAs. And I was wondering and I like if there's a way for me to just stop this annoying sound and I realized that um, well somebody suggested that if you get this static sound that sometimes the case would be that the something goes on in the radio that just something happens and it just loses its ground like uh, the ground the, the negative like it's not grounded properly anymore uh, something just I don't know burns or whatever and I I remember that the outside the frame of 
the head unit is all metal and it's all ground. So I just thought that what if this is the radio that's making all this static and it just makes it, uh, my amplifier is just making it stronger and probably the amplifier is not the, it's not the bad guy, it's the radio. And it turns out that it's not, it's actually the radio. So what it did, um, I took, um, so those uh, grounds that are going from the speaker um, harnesses, those grounds are going into the negative terminal on the, on the amp. So you can see that this is the positive, the red wire, the, the turn on, the amp turn on, and then the negative terminal right there. So I took those wires, I ran them to the negative, and then I thought, what if I could take another wire, and if I could run it from the negative terminal, and just just put it up against the the metal frame on the on the head unit, and guess what? It really worked, and I'm sure it would fix most issues um, of improper grounding of uh, the head unit. You do have to take out the plastic just so you can access the radio. And guess what happens when I just simply put this against, like press it against, press this wire against the outside of the radio. So I'm gonna put the phone next to the speakers and let you listen to this sound one, once again. So this is the sound when I don't have the wire pressed up against the uh, stereo, the head unit. And now, see what happens when I press it up against it. Boom, nothing. Zero sound coming out of the speakers. Now I now removed it and it's back again. Boom. It's gone. No more sound coming out. Or at least not none that I can hear. And it's 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 really enjoyable to listen to now. The the sound is gone. So I just all I did just press it up against the head unit. Removed it. You can probably hear it. Boom. Gone. It's there. And it's gone. So, you guys should definitely try that. Even if you have the RCAs going from the head unit to the amplifier and you get this sound. Even even those situations, I'm sure it will work, but definitely do try it and please uh, leave me a comment and I just want to see how many people it help and see if it actually works for other people. I, I really want to know because um, I could I could just probably help out a lot of people and just make me really really happy just just knowing that it helps somebody else because. A lot of people, especially the people that don't know a lot about like all this static crap, uh, I'm sure they would probably be happy just to know this simple trick to um, enjoy their music in full. And uh, if you want to leave a like or something, share this video with other people that don't know how to get rid of this stupid um, static sound, and I'm sure it would help even with like subwoofers that. Or making like this buzzing noise or whatever um so thanks for watching and uh see you next time